Chemistry lecture number 77, molarity. In chemistry, the common unit to describe the concentration of a solution is molarity. And we use capital M to uh, represent molarity. Uh, molarity is the moles of solute dissolved in one liter of solution. It's calculated by dividing the total moles of solute by the volume of the solution in liters. So molarity, capital M, is the moles of solute in solution divided by the liters of solution. What is the molarity if two moles of NaCl are dissolved in 0.5 liters of solution? All right, so molarity is moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution in liters. Um, the moles of solute, two moles of NaCl. And then the volume of the solution that these two moles are in is half a liter. We put that there. 2 divided by 0.5 is 4, so that gives us 4 moles of NaCl per liter. So that means that if you had a liter of this solution, there would be 4 moles of NaCl dissolved in it. And then instead of writing 4 moles per liter, we write 4 molar NaCl. And instead of writing 4 molar, sometimes we would just write 4 capital M NaCl. So this capital M means moles per liter. So it shows the concentration of the solution. If the amount of solute is given in grams and the volume of the solution is given in milliliters or cubic centimeters, uh, you'll have to use factor label method to convert grams to moles and milliliters into liters. And remember that a thousand milliliters equals one liter. So normally when you calculate the molarity of solution, you want to divide moles uh, by liters. But sometimes you don't get moles and liters. You get a problem like this. What is the molarity of 80 grams of copper sulfate in 2.5 times 10 to the 2 milliliters of solution? So we're not given moles per liter, we're given grams per milliliter. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to convert 80 grams of copper sulfate into moles. <coughs> and one mole of copper sulfate has a mass of 160 grams, so we're going to use that. And then we're given milliliters of solution, not liters. So we need to convert 250 milliliters into liters. And remember that 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. All right, so let me show you the setup of how we're going to do this. We're going to use this relationship. One mole of copper sulfate is 160 grams, and 1,000 milliliters is one liter. They give us 80 grams per 250 milliliters. So we're going to convert this grams into moles, and we're going to convert this milliliters into liters. So here's how we do it. We have grams of copper sulfate on top. I want to get rid of it and convert it into moles. So to get rid of the grams on top, I'm going to put 160 grams on the bottom, and a mole of CuSO4 on top, and that'll convert grams into moles. Now, I have 250 milliliters on the bottom. I want to convert that into liters. So since milliliters is on the bottom, I need to put 1,000 milliliters on top and one liter on the bottom. We can do that because 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter. All right, so set up this way. Grams of copper sulfate cancel, leaving us moles and then milliliters of solution cancel, leaving us liters, and that'll give us moles per liter, which is the definition of molarity. So 80 times 1,000 divided by the product of these two numbers is gonna give us two. So it's gonna be two molar CuSO4. So what this answer means is that if you had uh, a liter of solution, there would be two moles of CuSO4 inside of it. Well, the solutions are prepared by measuring the grams of solute you need, adding the solute to a volumetric flask, and then adding water until you've reached the desired volume. For example, to prepare 250 milliliters of a 2 molar CuSO4 solution, you would measure out 80 grams of copper sulfate, add it to a 250 milliliter volumetric flask, and then add water to the flask until it reaches the 250 milliliter line. And I'm going to show you a picture of that in a minute. Anyway, done in this fashion, you'll actually use a little bit less than 250 milliliters of water since the copper sulfate takes up some of the total volume of the solution. Okay, so here's a picture of this paragraph. We want to prepare this volume of solution at that concentration. So what we would do is 
you would measure out 80 grams of copper sulfate, all right? And then you would add the copper sulfate to an empty volumetric flask. And then what you would do is you would add water until the water got up to this 250 milliliter line. And then if you do that, uh, you'll get 250 milliliters of copper sulfate at this concentration. All right, so that's the procedure for doing that. <clears throat> and this volume all in here is 250 milliliters, but some of the volume is being taken up by the copper sulfate. So when you actually add water, um, the amount of water is not going to be exactly equal to 250 mils. It's going to be a little bit less than 250 mils because the copper sulfate crystals take up some space. The next type of molarity problem asks you to how to prepare a certain volume of solution with a certain molarity. Now indirectly, you're being asked how many grams of solute are in a certain volume of solution. For these types of problems, you'll convert milliliters into liters, liters into moles, and then moles into grams. So here's the overview of how we're gonna solve these problems. You're gonna be given uh, milliliters, and then we'll convert milliliters into liters. We'll convert liters into moles, and then we'll convert moles into grams. So here's a question where we ask, how do you prepare a solution? How would you prepare four times 10 to the two milliliters of a 1.5 molar calcium chloride solution? So they tell us the volume of the solution we want, and they tell you the concentration. Implicitly, they're asking you how many grams of copper, I'm sorry, of calcium chloride do you need to prepare this volume at this concentration? So here's how we'll do it. We take 400 milliliters and we're going to convert it into liters. And then the 1.5 molar, the capital M, means that one liter of solution contains 1.5 moles of calcium chloride. So we're going to convert liters into moles using one liter equals 1.50 moles CaCl2, all right? So remember, again, the capital M means moles per liter. So implicitly they're saying 1.5 capital M, 1.5 moles of solute are gonna be in one liter of solution, all right? And then um, one mole of calcium chloride has a mass of 111 grams, so we'll use one mole CaCl2 equals 111 grams of CaCl2. So we need these equalities to get us through these steps right here. All right, so here's the overview of how we're gonna solve it. We're gonna take the volume they give us, we're gonna convert it into liters. <clears throat> we'll take the concentration they give us and we'll use that to convert liters to moles, and then we'll convert moles into grams. To convert milliliters into liters, we'll use this equality. To convert um, liters into moles, we'll use this equality, because they tell us the concentration is 1.5 molar. And then convert moles into grams, we'll use this equality. All right, so the problem tells you you have, or we want, 400 milliliters of solution. All right, so we're going to convert milliliters into liters. I have li milliliters on top, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put 1,000 milliliters on the bottom and one liter on top because 1,000 milliliters makes one liter. So that's the first step. We've converted milliliters into liters. Now we want to convert liters into moles. And they tell you the concentration of the solution is 1.5 moles in one liter of solution. So to go from liters to moles, I have liters on top. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put liters on the bottom and 1.5 moles of CaCl2 on top because they tell you that we have a 1.5 molar solution of CaCl2. Remember, capital M is moles per liter. All right, so now we've gotten from liters to moles. Now we wanna go from moles into grams. I have moles on top, I wanna to get rid of it. So I'll put a mole on the bottom and 111 grams of calcium chloride on top because one mole of calcium chloride is equivalent to 111 grams of calcium chloride. All right, so set up this way. Milliliters cancel, liters cancel, moles cancel, and we're left with grams of calcium chloride. So 400 times 1.5 times 111 and then divide it all by 1,000, that's gonna give us 66.6 .6 grams of calcium chloride. 
So what this means is that if you want to prepare 400 milliliters of a 1.5 molar calcium chloride solution, you add water to 600 or to 66.6 grams of calcium chloride until the volume is 400 milliliters. All right. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture number 77, Molarity.